The jury's verdict has passed, but not the public interest in everything George Floyd's death has left behind. People continue to show up to pay their respects outside the cup food store where Derek Chauvin murdered Mr Floyd with his knee last year. Chauvin's in prison awaiting sentencing in eight weeks. His new photo's been taken and registered by jail authorities. So justice has been done in the Minneapolis court system, but not in the eyes of the federal government. US Attorney General Merrick Garland has ordered an investigation into the Minneapolis Police Department responsible for at least four high profile cases using lethal force, the latest only just over a week ago against Dante Wright. The investigation I am announcing today will assess whether the Minneapolis Police Department engages in a pattern or practice of using excessive force, including during protests. The investigation will also assess whether the MPD engages in discriminatory conduct and whether its treatment of those with behavioral health disabilities is unlawful. Now, Merrick Garland's acting at Joe Biden's behest as part of a national approach to overhauling police practices. Most of our nation's law enforcement officers do their difficult jobs honorably and lawfully. I strongly believe that good officers do not want to work in systems that allow bad practices. So depending what it finds, there will be potential for federal legal action against Minneapolis police. And separately, this city and the state of Minnesota are running their own police reform schemes. All are aware that there's no better time to draw on public support than in the immediate aftermath of the criminal trial for George Floyd's murder.